Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of J Bros Cooking. And today we are making homemade cheese ravioli. Ooh, and this is one of my favorites. And this is, we are doing an Easter special. It's a tradition we usually gather at John's house and have an Easter egg hunt and I'm thinking we're back on for this year. I believe so. So we're gonna be making raviolis, cheese raviolis. Used to be the cheapest dish at Olive Garden. Our fresh pasta dough, we made this uh, back at Christmas time, we showed you how, but we have shot another video recently on just how to make the pasta dough. You can find that link right here. We're gonna get started by going ahead and mixing up our filling for our ravioli. This is about uh, 15, 16 ounces of whole milk ragutta cheese. I'm gonna add that right here. To that, we're gonna add uh, two cups of mozzarella. You guys want it messy, right? Now, cheese ravioli was a viewer request. Henry, what up South Dakota? Hey, took us a while. But well, we got there. This is our fresh Pecorino Romano. All right, while I'm adding in the cheese, it's gonna take a minute. Joe, if you wanna add in the egg and all our spices. Sure. Garlic powder going in. Italian seasoning going in. One egg going in. Salt and pepper. All right, so Joe's gonna go ahead and get this, all the ingredients for the filling mixed up. Filling is mixed. Since we do have raw egg in there, we still gotta work all our dough for our ravioli. We're gonna stick this in the fridge till we're ready to use it. Good job, John. We have our fresh pasta dough here. We just have it in a nice wet rag, keeping it moist. All right, we're gonna cut it into fourths. So we got about a quarter of our dough here, our fresh pasta dough, got a little flour in the bowl here. So pretty much, we're just gonna work this out. This is our little, our little pasta roller. Hmm, I like that. So we're gonna flatten this out, about as flat as we can get it. And we're gonna start it on the thickest setting. We're gonna start rolling. Look at this teamwork. The uh, pasta machine here is gonna roll our dough out nice and thin. So what we want to do is, we got about, I don't know, however wide that is. So we're gonna fold it over and we're gonna run it through one more time without running it down on the size at all. And we're gonna go again. So yeah, like we said, this was a viewer request. And the reason why we picked Easter was, I don't know, probably what, the last six years? I mean, it hasn't been forever, but probably- It wasn't last year. Last six to seven years, me and my sister Mary, we make this for Easter every year. So we had it as a viewer request and we thought, you know what, let's save it for Easter. All right, our dough's getting nice and Paper thin. thin. Now, if you don't have the pasta machine, you can roll it out by hand with a rolling pin. It's just really hard to get it to the thinness you need with just a rolling pin. So, yeah, I say it's worth investing. I guess I got like a bunch of different tools that we got here, so. Probably not in your everyday kitchen. Yeah, my wife doesn't appreciate all the kitchen appliances I have. So this is just a classic ravioli cutter. This, I think me and my sister, me and Mary tried this one year. This is actually a dumpling maker. We're gonna try it again this year. This is a little ravioli to make them perfect form. That is beautiful, that little thing. We're gonna do a little bit of everything. There's lots of different tools you can buy for making ravioli and I don't know, probably every year I buy a new one to try, so. And that being said, 
I'd like to ask, have you hit the like or subscribe button? We have officially hit, I think it's safe to say, 500 subscribers, and we wanna thank everyone for subscribing. We really, really appreciate it. For our first set of ravioli, we are going to go ahead and try to use this guy. Again. So I'm gonna lift it, Joe. For this, what you do is, you got these little guys, look like a little egg holder. You're just gonna put it on top. You press it in, makes your little indentation so you can fit your filling in there. That's cute. I like a good cheese ravioli. It's one of my faves. I'm not gonna lie. Most stores, you can go in to a grocery store, just saying. They usually have their own brand. Kroger has a decent frozen one. I'm just saying, if you don't got all this, but you wanna try some raviolis. So Joe's gonna hit these seams, where the seams will be with a little bit of water. That'll help the two pieces of pasta seal up. All right, so we're gonna go and take our dough. We just give these guys a little press, 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 press down. We take our rolling pin. And we press nicely across of it. All right, so for this set, we're gonna go ahead and try our little dumpling maker. We showed you a couple different tools you can use. Now for this one, we're gonna show you just how to do it by hand. Keep it simple if you don't have all the tools. So for this one, same thing. Just using water, you don't need to do an egg wash, anything fancy like that to create your seal. Simply gonna take this piece of dough, and fold it over. You wanna get all that air out of there. So I showed you, I had this little stamp one. Which is not in everybody's kitchen. Not in everyone's kitchen, so I'm just showing you. If you're doing them by hand, you can just take this. And you can use that to cut them out. Or just go to your kitchen, get any glass you have, apply some pressure, press down. And you got yourself some nice raviolis. Typical looking raviolis. We showed you what, three different tools you can use, but at the end of the day, roll it out. Nice glass. glass. seems to work the best. And it cuts nicely. These pretty much if you want like a fancy look. All right, now growing up, my grandpa always told me when he was a kid, his mom used to, when they would make homemade ravioli, a lot of times she, he, she would make each of them one big ravioli. And that was all they got for dinner. So we're gonna attempt to do that today. All right, and that's our one big ravioli right there. That is one big bad boy. We got our water here to a nice simmer. We want to overload the pan, so we're gonna cook them probably about eight to 10 at a time. Now these ravioli only take about three to four minutes to cook. You don't want a, you don't want a heavy boil, uh, especially with uh, homemade fresh ravioli. They will separate if you bring these things to a, a roaring boil. All right, our ravioli have been cooking about three minutes. We flipped them about after minute two. All right, and we'll keep cooking. We got the OG um, ravioli. You want it on the spoon instead of that? I don't know. I don't want to stick my hand in the boiling water, so maybe. Let's see how this works. All right, so we got our ravioli all cooked up. 
We got ourselves some sauce. Today we're using our homemade sauce, but this is a homemade meat sauce. Which is pretty much the same. We just added meat to it. Yeah. So we're going to get some sauce on these guys. And this is the dumpling one right here. You can see that. These are the homemade with the cup. These are the ones that came out of the little press thing. And then here's our grande that my grandfather said his mother used to make. And it... It, it was a bit of a project. It probably... I was going to say it'd be do better if we did it in a deeper pot, but it might have done worse if it didn't have the bottom of the pan to sit on. Yeah. That one, being as big as it was, I think we almost had to go maybe a little bit thicker with our dough because of the amount of cheese that was in there. But it turned out it's edible. It's eaten either way. Time to dig in. Let's go. I'm ready for this, Joey. Let's do it. Doesn't matter which plate I eat. Nope. From. Could I one bite it? Absolutely. Sure. But I'm not going to. Now, I'll be honest. Me and Joe both sampled these as soon as they came, as soon as we could burn our mouth and they came out of the pan. But with the sauce, ooh, the sauce makes it. Let's cut into the big one. Mm. Woo. I'll be honest, it's been a long time since we made homemade ravioli. And it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. They it's are good. They They're are good. really good. <clears throat> the store-bought ones are so easy. They come frozen, they're cheap, but they're the, usually decent. They're not, they're definitely not. But when you like the amount of flavor that they lack, like to me, like they don't taste bad, but just when you taste these ones, the amount of flavor <laughs> when you make the when you make the filling yourself and put in all the seasonings yeah. that you want, it's so good. It's so worth it. And I'm not encouraging you to buy store-bought ones, but if you do, don't buy the meat ones. This was our ravioli and Easter show Happy for you. Easter. Like we said, this was a viewer request. Keep those coming in. We appreciate when we see, leave it in the comments, something you want us to make. Sometimes it does take us a little while to get it into the mix. Remember, it's always better when you make it yourself. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. It's not macaroni now, John. Macaroni, pasta, I go back and forth. Every time I say macaroni, you give me a hard time. And I say pasta, you give me a hard time. So I might as well just say what I want to say, huh? Yeah, you're gonna do it anyways. And you're gonna give me a hard time either way. I am the older brother. Leave in the comments, does anyone have any uh, younger brothers that try and be the boss? <laughs>